All right, so let's talk about V Chain, guys. Again, this is going to be a very big performer uh, in this bull market. Uh, is V Chain going to perform as well as it did in the last bull market? You know, I don't think so uh, because the last bull market was just, I mean, it was just crazy. Uh, going from the lows, if you go from the 2022 lows, you know, all the way up to the top of the bull market, uh, V Chain was up 19,000%. Uh, this is a project I think is actually, you know, underrated. And not many people talk about VeChain, you know, in the cryptocurrency market. Uh, but yeah, performance wise, I mean, yeah, this is a portfolio must have. So I've been looking at the chart of VeChain and I just can't help but to be very excited about this project. And there's a lot of people that are very excited about VeChain. Now, I thought I was bullish on V Chain until I came across, you know, five dollar targets. Right. I thought I was very bullish on V Chain with my forty cents price targets until I came across, you know, five dollars and ten dollars. Now, I don't know if those are clickbaits, but can you imagine, you know, a five dollar V Chain if your entry is two cents? Percentage wise, let me show you what that looks like. If your entry is two cents and V chain goes to five dollars, you are looking at a nineteen thousand per cent. Right? You are looking at a nineteen thousand percent, guys. Can you imagine? Actually, no, seventeen thousand, not nineteen thousand. You're looking at seventeen thousand uh, dollars, a seventeen thousand percent move. Those are not my predictions, so I don't want you guys to to think that is coming from me. But anyway, you know, technically, this looks very bullish, like very, very, very bullish. We are very clear out of the bear market. You know, that's a very good thing. We have our first impulse move of you know the bull market. And I think what VeChain is doing right now is, you know, working on its, you know, higher low on the higher time frame. This higher low right here is going to be extremely important. Uh, the reason is because, you know, this is going to provide your first entry. If you, you know, if you've been on the sideline, this is going to provide, you know, your first entry going into this bull market. Uh, some of you guys accumulated you know, below two cents. So congratulations to you guys. You know, if you were uh, one of the people that was very bullish on Chainlink, uh, not Chainlink, VeChain, and accumulated in this range right here, like you are among the 1% that's going to generate uh, maybe the best returns uh, from this project, unless you take profits early. But anyway, so I'm looking at this pullback right here. And I think, you know, if you bullish on this project, this is a great place to now start having a position. Uh, you know, you should have your core position by now. And maybe you have, you know, a little bit of some cash on the sideline just in case. All right. Just in case we do come back to retest these levels right here. All right. So I'm looking at one cent. So 0 0.0198005. If we do drop all the way back here, whatever you have that's left, you can add on to your position and bring your average price, you know, somewhere around here. But what I would say is, you know, at this point, you know, after this very big pullback, you know, this is a 35% pullback. And I think you should have your core position by now. So you should be, you know, 70 to 80% in position right now. But anyway, so why am I excited about V chain? Well, I want you guys to take a look at the chart of this thing. If your entry is today's price, you know, if V chain goes back to its all time high, that's an AX. Listen, there isn't too many projects that are still giving you, you know, these type of opportunity, you know, an AX from right here. I mean, this is just, yeah, this is crazy. So one of my prediction, which I think is, you know, very conservative is, uh, the, is the V chain is not only going back to a so time high of 27 cents, but I also think V chain goes, you know, somewhere around 40 cents. 
So, you know, going from right here all the way up to 40 cents, uh, you're looking at a, you know, 14x basically. Again, that's a great investment, right? You know, it's not a $5 V chain, but, you know, still you're looking at a 14x if your entry is, you know, right here. Uh, so yeah, why am I bullish anyway? Uh, so when you zoom out and you look at the monthly, I mean, this is basically only the beginning of you know, an insane bull market. Like this is literally the beginning of, you know, a very big bull market. Uh, what I do like about V chain is, you know, we generally was actually red, which is very good. Uh, in a bull market, you tend to have, you know, some red candles. So if you think about the last bull market, uh, we, you know, after we recovered from that, you know, early 2022 crash, we had our first, you know, red candle in September, and then we had another one in October. So to me, this is really good. If February is also red, that potentially brings, you know, V-Chain again, right somewhere around here, actually right here. Uh, around yeah still around two cents but you're looking at 0 0.0239240 so if this is another red candle you know i think this will be a fantastic opportunity in fact you know to me that would be the end of you know this pullback and then you know we be looking at you know even you know much much bigger percentage wise because if your entry is, you know, right down here, forget if, if February is red and we drop all the way down here, uh, to get back to the all time high, guys, you're looking at 11x. Show me a project that's been around as long as VeChain that's giving you, you know, 11x by the time we get back to the all time high. And if we do push to my 40 cents price target, you are, yeah, you're looking at V-Chain doing a 16X. This is a 16X. It's not a $5 V-Chain that's giving you a 17,000%, but this is, you know, really, really good, guys. So, yeah, I'm excited. Uh, technically, V-Chain looks awesomely bullish. Uh, maybe another one month of you know, V-Chain just, you know, scrambling, basically doing nothing. But after that, guys, I mean, I am expecting, you know, something very similar to this right here. Like, I am expecting many, many consecutive green candles. And these are monthly candles. So, yeah, should be a buyer right now. Uh, if you're not accumulating V-Chain, I mean, I don't know what else to tell you. On the daily, VeChain looks bearish. It's not just VeChain, it's every project. Very simple, guys. If you look at the daily time frame, we have a very clear downtrend. You know, we have lower highs and lower lows. So we just got rejected by the resistance right here. So yeah, now looking at VeChain, you know, potentially coming back to, you know, retest these levels right here guys these levels right here a lot of support in this range so let's keep an eye on that going from the top of the rally all the way down here potentially looking at a 20 percent drop in a price of v-chain you are potentially looking at a 20 percent drop in a price of v-chain a 16 percent drop going from today's price uh, but again if you're not a buyer, you know, right now, exactly what are you waiting for? All right. Have your core position. And if we do continue to go down, uh, the other 20% that's on the sideline, you know, use that to add on to your position and bring your average price at a lower valuation. I'm bullish on chain link, uh, not chain link, V chain. I'm bullish on V chain, and I'll see you guys at. 40 cents. That's exactly where I will see you guys in 2025.